Hey guys, all right, so at this point, let's talk about uh, linking strategy, right? So uh, we have talked about what an authority network is, we have talked about how to set it up, um, you know, and it kind of demonstrated for you everything that you need to do, all the steps, all extra pieces of software if you want them uh, to having an effective authority network. Um, so once you have it set up, how do we, how do we use this to uh, benefit our clients, right? So how do we, how do we leverage this network of high authority domains to get our clients ranked higher in Google? So let's talk about it. Um, you know, so once you have your network, guys, it's time to start linking. But how do you go about it? That's what we're going to tackle here. So uh, it all starts with uh, with an with an article, right? So first thing we want to do is we want to get your article for the blog. So as we talked about, in context links, they're the most powerful kind of backlinks that you can have for a client. So what you want to do is you want to get an article uh, written on a relevant topic to your client uh, and you want to put links into that article. So uh, you can do these uh, articles on, on iWriter, on TextBroker, or even off of Fiverr. Um, the article doesn't have to be great, but it needs to be readable. So this article is going to go up on our on our authority website and it's going to be linking back with the right anchor text. Remember anchor text, guys. Uh, to the client's website. So that's how this is going to work. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to make sure, yeah, pretty much step two is make sure that we have uh, a link or a links in the right spot for each article. So it should look a little something like this. Um, so inside of this article, so we guys have, we have our authority website and then we have our first article. So within that article, you guys want to have three links. So you want to have a link that goes to the client's homepage. That's the first one. Second one, you have, want to have a link that goes to the client's keyword page if it's not the home page. And third, you want to have a link going to an outbound authority website like Wikipedia or, uh, you know, like a, like a .edu or something that has authority that you're kind of referencing. Google likes to see that. Um, what you, what I gotta, I gotta, I gotta kind of, uh, kind of throw a hammer down here, guys. Um, you know, you do not link to the same client's website multiple times from the same authority website. You can only link to one client site from one authority website. Okay. Does that make sense? You know, different clients can share the same authority website as long as the topic stays relevant. So you can have one authority website, right? That links out. So, so you have one authority website, one article to one client site, client A, one authority website, another article linking to client B. Do not link back to client A's site multiple times. All right. You, and on my advice is do not link out to more than three clients' websites from any single authority website. Okay. That's really important to remember. Um, you know, and again, guys, while you're doing this, don't forget about the anchor text ratios. When you're setting these links, these links up, go back to the section, go grab those documents in there about the anchor text stuff, um, and follow, uh, and follow those, all right? Too many exact match anchors, especially coming from authority websites like this, they are gonna doom you. Remember to switch it up, follow the guides. Literally, guys, just go through, if you have a local client, just go through the example there for NYC carpet cleaning and just take out NYC and put in whatever your client's uh, city is. It's, it's it's that simple, seriously. Um, and guys, literally, this is, this is it. Like, just repeat these steps with each of your authority websites for each of your clients and they're going to rank, right guys? Lather, rinse, repeat, and rank. That's it. All right. This is simple. Very simple. I know things can get kind of complicated here, guys, especially with this chart. If you have questions about the chart uh, or how it's supposed to look, or, you know, you don't understand what the hell I'm talking about, leave a comment in the group, uh, shoot me a message, whatever you need to do to get this cleared up. We want you to understand this because it's guys and stuff really does work and we are really trying to keep it as simple as possible. All right. Cool guys. Let's see you in the next section.